So I've been showing you how to use Ardor, a track editor, mixer, uh, music program that's free and open source for Linux. So far I've shown you how to do uh, importing basic loops uh, that I've made that aren't all that great because I'm not that much of a musician, uh, and how to connect it to other applications such as synthesizers or audio inputs from instruments to record to different tracks and such like that. But let's look at a real musician and what uh, we can do when uh, people are open, such as open source, or in this case, Creative Commons. We are going to go to the Nine Inch Nail website, in particular, remix.nin.com. This is a site that Trent Reznor, who is Nine Inch Nails, has set up. And his last few albums, he has released under the Creative Commons license. And he's allowed you to not only share the music, but to download the individual audio tracks, instrument tracks, and mix them. And then he set the site, so not only can you download those, but you can upload them and share them with other fans. So this is just great. If you go to remix.nin.com, you have to create an account, which is simply just give them your email account and stuff. It's, it's free to do. Then click on Mix. If you're not logged in, it'll ask, ask you to log in uh, with the account you've created. And then you can go to Download Multitracks. And you'll see that there's a whole bunch of songs here. Mostly Nine Inch Nails, but a few of them uh, are other artists that Nine Inch Nails has worked with, Jane's Addiction and Saul Williams. And you can download the uh, raw audio files. Uh, and you know some of them have large numbers in megabytes here, and some say like one megabyte. The one megabyte ones are torrent files. If you're not familiar with torrent files, you need a, a torrent tracker to download them. So just Google about torrents and you'll learn about that. Uh, I'm just going to choose a song uh, up here from his Ghost soundtrack, track 19, 58 megabytes. I've already downloaded it. It's in a zip file. Once you unzip it, you'll have this. You'll have a folder with the WAV files in it. And you'll also have a empty MIDI file uh, that tells you the beats per minute. Or you can open up this RTF file, which is an Office file, and it tells you the name of the song, the meters, and the beats per minute. So with that information, we can go back into Ardor. I will create a new project. I'm just going to call it NIN for Nine Inch Nails. I'll click New. And then I'm going to click right here, right click and go Edit on Tempo. And I will change that to 80 because we're working at 80 beats per minute as we just read. Now I can go to Import. I can go to where those files are saved, those WAV files that I just downloaded. And I can select all the tracks. Uh, either with Control A or Shift Select. Uh, it's telling me here in red that they are a 44,100 uh, hertz or 44.1 kilohertz uh, sample rate, which is different than my current project. Not a big deal. It's just going to have to do some conversion. They are long tracks, not loops, so it'll take a few seconds for each one. There's 12, and you can see it going through right here. And as it adds them, you'll see the tracks being added here as well as the files being added over here. Uh, and when that's done you'll see that they're all color-coded just like the loops were and you can go through and start trimming, adding effects, uh, and just moving around and create your own remix of a Nine Inch Nails song. So if you're kind of beginning to mixing in music and you don't have your own uh, files that you've created uh, Trent Reznor made it real easy for you to go and download all these files, and you can see them by scrolling here. There's 12 tracks in this uh, song, so I can press play, and they're all named. So we can stop, and we can control and scroll out to see more of the song. And you can start, you know, playing around with this if you want to remix the song. I have Snap to Grid on, so that makes it real easy to move things around. I'm going to grab, you know, this, move it to here, this to here, and then I'll going to reverse that. And I'm just playing around to get different sounds. Put that there. I'll take that right there. That right there. And then I'll move it here and I'll stretch it out some, like so. 
that might if I do it a lot it might take a little while so let's see stretch and I can lower the volume on some tracks I can add effects if I want I'm not going to get into that right now I'll reverse this track as well uh, you can even cut out some of these and make your own beats if you want to grab just like one drum beat and pour it into a a thing like uh, LMMS and create your own little loop there. I'm going to turn up this volume, so let's see, you know. This little part came in a little hard, so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to scale it down like that, and I'll fade it in like so. So now we can so I just wanted to share that with you uh, once again that site is uh, nin I'm sorry remix.nin.com you can listen to a lot of other people's uh, uh, remixes and rate them and upload yours once you've created it you can upload a mix track here and uh, and then people can rate yours so Creative Commons is a great thing you can also do a search on Creative Commons there's a lot of Creative Commons sites out there um, if you go to creativecommons.org you can find a, a bunch of resources for loops and tracks and other artists that you can mix so if you're not a Nine Inch Nail type of person, you can go and find other artists and download their tracks and mix them. So Ardor is a great program for doing such a thing and also just creating your own music. Hope these tutorials have been useful. I'm hoping I'm giving you some good resources to get started uh, playing around with the projects, uh, with the applications. And visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. The link is in the description as well as the link to the Nine Schnell site and the Creative Commons site.